Welcome to Ultimate Sensei, a chess coaching competition unlike any other. Over the next several weeks, four of the world's best trainers will work with eight hungry students, ready to do whatever it takes to improve their game. Who will work the hardest to improve? Whose methods will prove supreme? And who will become the ultimate sensei? All right, greetings and welcome everybody to season two of Ultimate Sensei. We are in our second competition of the season, the Tactics Challenge. I'd like to give our viewers a chance to say hi to all our contestants. So, boom, hello, here's everybody. We have one contestant, Dritman, who couldn't make it today because of a last minute emergency, but everybody else is here. We're happy to have you. Um, good luck to all of you. I think that most of the contestants are feeling a little bit of nerves because they're kind of going to be challenged and tested today. And uh, I just want to tell everybody here the rules. And uh, for all of you watching, I'm going to explain the rules. And that will give you um, our contestants one last chance to ask me for any clarification questions about how this is going to work. I'm going to be emailing them images of chess diagrams. They're going to take those diagrams and they're going to solve them um, in any order they choose with an hour uh, time limit. And uh, some of those questions are going to have one answer. Some of them are going to have multiple answers. Some of them will have no answer at all. And the way to score points will, will be to say no answer. And that, that could get them some points on those questions. Um, this is uh, how I like to test people on tactics in general because it's more like a real game where you don't ever really know if there is a tactic or not. Um, so they'll be able to bounce around between those. Any wrong answer is going to lose them points. So they also have the option of saying, I don't know on some question rather than guessing an answer. Um, and every right answer is going to give them points. Um, in their answers, if they give a longer variation that shows what the follow-up is or shows what the best defense is or something like that, they can score an extra point here and there um, uh, in their variations. They are going to have 10 puzzles in this first uh, challenge today. Yeah. All right. So now it's uh, you and me here. And uh, I'm calling up the uh, test. You can have a look at the test too if you want, Matt. I've emailed it to you and yeah, it's I currently just, showing in, in small format here on the stream. For our viewers today, this show is not going to be action packed right off the bat the way like the rapid tournament was last, last time or the way like the blitz tournament will be or the end game challenge will be. Um, but one of the ways I would encourage you to consume the current show would be to try and take the same test as the students. The students will not be moving pieces or drawing arrows, Neve. Yeah, the test is not hard enough for that. If they could move the pieces around, I think this test would become probably too easy for the level of these students. So these aren't like, you know, correspondence chess style puzzles. <laughs> um, uh, with the exception of one puzzle, Matt, I put in one puzzle here as a cheat detection. Uh, meaning it is too difficult or? Yeah, I didn't tell the students that. I told them there were some with answers, some with multiple answers, some with no answers. There's also one with an impossible answer. So if the students get it right, I know that student cheated on this okay. test. That's very, very <laughs> well thought. <laughs> Yeah, okay. it's a, it's I, think uh, I, I, I just, uh, I was trying to share the, the same content, you know, the, the same test with my communities. Nice. So to arrange it nicely. Mm -hmm. I hope they are going to have the, the opportunity to, to solve it. Yeah. Or maybe I'll crop it into two pieces actually. Yeah, it's, um, it's two pages long, this test. And, um, 
you guys say the Matt's audio is low. Oh yeah, I can see why. Let me fix that. It's because my mic is too high. I need to bring it down and then you guys can use the audio, the, the volume on your computers to balance it. My mic always needs to be brought down, which I hadn't yet done here. I'm gonna cycle through some random different scenes and see if that brings my mic down everywhere. Yep. All right, it looks like that worked. All right. All right, so um, let me next show you all the test so you can all get started on it. Here is, whoops, here is test one. In a slightly bigger format, is this um, viewable and legible for for the viewers? Yeah, this is the first eight. There are, there are two more on this test and I can show you the two more like this at some point, you see? But um, I'll start you off with puzzles one through eight here. And there's no time to make a proper exam, like test their opening skills. Before skills, I put them into this. skills, strategy, yeah. analysis. Yeah, and like, I mean, there are some players who will have like an OTB rating that's, you know, six, like 1500 and they could belong in this event, but they've got a chess.com rating that's like 2000. And I know because of OTB being closed for a year and a half, They've gained 300 points and I don't want them in this competition because they're just too strong. I really want the players to be within 200 points of each other when, when they start out. Oh yeah, whether I've clearly defined what lines they're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think the players aren't sure exactly how many variations to give and what I'm looking for. Matt, was there a way for me to make that clearer or it's, it's never going to be totally clear? Like what lines they should be giving? Like no, how I many lines they're supposed to give, or how many variations? I mean, it, it it depends on the position. You can never it's it's it should be work exactly like in a game, right? Your your opponent will not tell you how many lines you're supposed to to find. You're just yeah. always always supposed to find the best defense for your opponent. And there may be one line, there may be five mm -hmm. alternatives, and you you need to consider all of them. So yeah. there isn't never like a clear answer. Everything yeah. that's necessary. Right, so they have to calculate what they would have to calculate to play a move in a game. Mm. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, which is kind of how I wanted it to be. So I guess that's still on still on them to figure it out. I think I think the, the more it resembles the, the actual game, the better. Because, mm -hmm. you know, regardless of the competition, after all, we're here to, to make them play better. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or no, because I'm not sure. So let me talk to you for a minute while the players work. We're gonna, I, I'll, I'll come back periodically to the positions for folks who are who are working on this test. Um, but uh, you know, if somebody really is intent about wanting to work on this test, and you know, try and spend the next forty six minutes and see how they can stack up. If you're anywhere in the like twelve hundred to eighteen hundred range, it's probably a pretty good test for you. Um, that's OTB. So again, shift at 300 points or 100 points for chess.com, 400 points for Lee Chess. You can take a quick screenshot here and, and work on these puzzles. But I'm going to be cycling through, you know, different views so that sometimes we can, you know, watch our contestants as they work on the test. And other times you can just see Matt and me as we chat about uh, chess coaching. Um, yeah. Difficult topic. Yeah. So I saw you uh, doing some lessons um, in the past uh, couple weeks with your students, and uh, I noticed that you were doing some tactics work with them, but not only tactics work. Did you have any feeling like you should prepare them for this tactics challenge today, or did you just have in mind the whole time like the finals as being the, the goal of, of this or something else? This is crazy. It's as if I knew you were gonna talk about this thing. Here we go on stream. This is this is what he's talking about. In this position here. Nope, that's the wrong position. 
Uh, where's Gary? Here's Gary. All right. So in this position here, apparently Kasparov saw this like saw move 37, rook to d7, while waiting for Topolov to uh, to make like his 20th move here. <laughs> Pretty insane um, for a position this complicated to see that far ahead. I don't know if I even like remember the moves <laughs> myself. No, I don't. I don't. Just and I looked idea. at it once, you know, last week. Uh, blindfolded, by the way. I was practicing reading chess books blindfolded myself. So I was reading a book where this game was analyzed. And they said, like, you know, at first, Gary hadn't seen every detail. It was partly there was some some instinct and intuition as well as a bunch of brute force calculation. But that while he was sitting here uh, with Topolov thinking, uh he he realized some move that's like on move 37 i just it's just outrageous right but it starts with this 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 and then maybe queen c3 bishop d5 i don't know this thing is like completely insane this 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 game he played. Anyway, he saw something like 10 moves further away from this that's like a cross-pin tactic where even if we were in the position where he played rook d7, most of us would want to calculate for a couple minutes. And he'd already like seen the move and somehow once he saw the move, like that was it. He saw the whole thing. Um, but this is one of the most crazy chess calculations of all time, honestly. Um yeah, so what, what I was des describing was actually that uh, if you try to calculate everything from the very beginning, uh, it will be pretty much impossible. And you'll be coming back and forth, probably losing uh, lots of time and your calculation will be, you know, the, the longer you calculate, the quality gets just worse and worse. The, there is a huge probability you, you will miss something somewhere along the lines. So the key is actually to divide it into pieces and try to like stop and and uh make like when, when there's a branching point in calculation you just want to make it your initial position and just take it from there so that you don't have to calculate 10 moves but for instance four moves and divide it into segments where you actually need to make sure that you properly visualize to imagine the position properly uh -huh. so this is kind of a trick but so you need to be able to sort it's, of it's stop doable. and make a new picture there yeah well, bravo. That's that's really nice to see. So the score here, our first score, 18 points for chess numbers. Um, next up, Lula. And by the way, uh, did he skip seven? Uh, yes, he had skipped seven. I think, I think that two of the questions he skipped had no answer. But seven did have an answer. Okay, so okay. Lula um, said, don't know on the first one and got the second one right. Uh, <gasps> I got the second one right. Got the second one right. With yes. rook d5 check mm -hmm. and then rook b5 and both variations correct. So actually there's a second variation there. That's going to be four points on question two. Puzzle three. Uh, the answer on puzzle three, by the way, is that there's no answer to puzzle three. Um, oh, I, yeah, I'm very upset about that. I was yeah. so optimistic. Queen, um, puzzle three, queen f7 check is probably the best move for white. It puts the queen on a good square. <laughs> but the correct answer for our purposes is that there's mm -hmm. no tactic for white because after queen f7 mm -hmm. ch check king h8, the rook on e8 is defended by the queen and f8 square is defended by the bishop on a3. Mm -hmm. So that one is a no answer. Two points off. Question number four, bishop h6. Position number four. I didn't know number one because I calculated the pawn going the wrong way. Oh no, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that's my greatest weakness in all of yeah. puzzles is uh, yeah. not knowing which no, side I am in the end last. games. And then I was panicked at the end, and I was like, it's going the wrong way. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah. on number four, bishop h6, 
is not correct because black has the defense of bishop to f6. That's very upsetting. If you play that move, I think. Um, I forget what the defense is, but the correct move is rook takes g7 on that one. Um, what, what was the idea? What was the move to propose? She proposed bishop h6 and then uh, played king h8 for black and then bishop g7 check and checkmate. I just maybe didn't just, find uh, bishop Maybe there's f6. just bishop f6. Bishop yeah, H6, yeah bishop F6. I just didn't find it. I think bishop f6 is probably the defense to that. And this mm -hmm. is one of those puzzles where you need to sort of like strike before the opponent plays a defensive move and, and it's rook yeah. takes g7 um, because mm -hmm. the bishop and queen are still enough. Yeah, rook takes g7. I just couldn't see the yeah. mate after rook takes g7. Puzzle five has yeah. no answer. So you get two points back on that one as well. Um, that's correct. Puzzle six, knight h7 check on the first move is correct. You get two points for that. Puzzle seven, you don't know, so that's neutral. Puzzle eight, no tactic, that is correct. Very good. Puzzle nine. Queen takes d7. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just, this one was hard. I think it's bishop. Yeah, this, the last two are, are insane. Puzzle 9, mm -hmm. queen d7, queen d7, knight d7, knight d2, knight f8. That is a good idea. But bishop takes e4 is better. Okay. Um, trading that knight so that d2 won't be hanging. And then on the next move playing knight yeah. takes d7 cool. um and then the last one you have the correct first move king b7 wow Yay. two people got the impossible one already <laughs> king b7 and if knight d8 king c7 correct and if king b4 king c7 king b3 b7 all right so you're gonna get four points for that one good job thank you Next up, we've got. Wait, Blue how Jay. many points did I get? Sorry. You have a total of 10 points right now. Next up, we've got Blue Jay. White's playing for a draw. Knight of 6, g3, knight of 5, g2, knight of 4, check. Yes. Puzzle 2, White's playing for a win. Rook d5, check. King moves, rook b5, rook c1, king b6. Correct. Puzzle three, there is no answer. Correct. Puzzle four, force checkmate. Rook g7, king g7, bishop h6, king g8, queen g6, or king h7, bishop f8, queen f7. Got all of them. Very good. Five points there. Puzzle five, the 95 trick does not work here. So there is no answer. Correct. You even knew what I was trying to trick you with. Puzzle six. White is winning. Knight h7, check. King e8, queen g7. Threatening mates. Knight g6. You get a point for knight g6. Bishop f6. Very nice. Another point for that. Twenty. Our highest score. Now, if you get all the next questions wrong, you could lose some of those points for the negatives yes <laughs> fingers crossed puzzle seven white is winning queen takes g6 yes h takes g6 h5 rook f7 hg6 king g8 gf7 king f8 and you found knight e6 at the end yes was like... let me try and count all your exclams one two three four five six plus the correct answer. Oh, one of the exclams is the first move. Okay, so that's gonna take you to 26. Puzzle eight, I don't see a tactic here, no answer, correct. Jeez. Well, I'd be surprised if you're not in the top four here. Number nine, white wins a piece and is winning. Bishop e4 first, de4, knight d7, that is correct for 
another three points. And number 10, not b7 because knight d8. King b7, double question mark. Maybe you mean double x slam. Knight d check, king e7, knight e6. It was definitely check. intentional question mark. What's <laughs> I that? I have no idea. It was definitely intentional question mark. I have no idea. Oh, it was question mark it was like, I don't know if I'm right. <laughs> yeah, freaking well, out, it, I don't know. <laughs> it is an x slam. It's a good move. Um, it is the correct answer, and you get another point in that variation as well. So you get 34 points. Wow. That's very close to a maximum score on the test. Well done. See you on the second test. All right, next up. We've got Velcro dot. Number one, knight f6, g3, knight f5, g2, knight f4, collects all the points there. Uh, whoops. Number two, b8 equals queen, rook takes, rook takes is not correct. Sorry, was I supposed to join the audio for this? My bad. Oh, it's up to you. <laughs> oh, okay. You, you may or you may not. I'm grading your test right now as it so happens. Queen F7, check, King H8. There was no yeah. answer on that one. We got one. a series. I know, no answer. Okay, yeah. I yeah. missed some no. I didn't know that no answer was a possibility. No! Okay, I won't give you minus <laughs> points for that. I didn't think that that was a thing. I thought it was either that you didn't know or you had to write an answer. Yeah. There's, there's, there is an answer. You know there isn't an answer or you don't know if there is or isn't yeah, an answer. Yeah, I, I only know there was the first two. Number four is the rook sack. Then the check. I, I wrote it wrong, but I really I, meant G. I, I get it. You don't <laughs> okay. lose points for notation. <laughs> okay. I, 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 yeah. Cool. Um, then knight takes E5, but the answer there was no, there's a no, no answer. answer. Yeah. Let's see if your variation's right. Knight E5, bishop E2, knight C6, bishop D1, knight D8. Yeah, the position's like equal. It's not good. Um, so it's not like a winning tactic. Mm -hmm. Your variation is correct. That's the variation to calculate. And then, you know, you're supposed to count pieces and be like, right. am I up a piece or is it equal or am I down a piece? And um, that was the best that I thought because I didn't realize, but that's fair. Yeah. Um, Lauren, Ty got two points for getting the first move right in the first puzzle, but he didn't get extra points because he didn't have the correct follow up. So if someone gets the first move correct, they get a minimum of two points on a puzzle for being right. And then uh, extra points for correct moves along the way. Um, knight h7 check, king e8, queen g7. That's going to earn you three points for having that one correct. Plus one extra move in the variation. Um, then we've got queen takes g6, hd6, h5. Correct. Yes. For five points. Wait, yes, right. Oh, right. There's a bonus one on that one? There was a knight There's move bonus for extra exclams along the okay. way. Um, right. Or actually, sorry, you've got two bonus points. So you got four points on that one. Um, then number eight has no answer. Number nine. Yeah, I came up with two two non-answers, I guess. Yeah. Almost answered. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking off points on ones for you that have no answer if your move's not bad, which it's not. Uh, number nine, knight d7, though I did take off two points because it's wrong. And number 10, Fair. b4 check is wrong. So you oh, finish I, yeah. with, with six points. All right, Seth. Also with a picture of a notebook. His picture's upside down. Ah! <laughs> and one of them sideways. All right. Number one, knight e7. G3, knight g6, g2, knight f4. Wow, you found the knight e7 solution. I thought everyone would go with knight f6, but that puzzle has two correct answers, and you got one of them. I thought everyone would, like, chase straight at the pawn with knight f6. Okay, number two, b8 equals queen is wrong. You have to give yeah, the rook is, check and then rook the in the way. Number three, no tactical What's wrong solutions. With my line? Um, it's a draw after the rook sacks on uh, b8. Oh, because I after the rook sacks, 
Uh, I, maybe I'll ask you later, but I, okay. You can, you can ask um, Matt while I'm grading if you want. Okay. The first move is correct on number four, so you get two points. Number five, no tactical solution is correct as well. Number six, uh, hang on, knight h7, king e8, knight f6, king f8, knight h7. No, it's not a draw. There's queen g7 to win. Um, How do I grade that since he got the first move right, but he was going for a draw, not a win. I have no idea, I'm giving you one point. <laughs> number eight and nine don't know number 10 king b7 is correct 95 king c7 is correct k6 b7 or a lot of variations correct the one the, like the main one like it, it seemed the most critical Whew. i mean <laughs> okay tie with really? lula I realized my mic was on the ground as well right there if I was trying to talk and you guys yeah. didn't hear okay. me. Okay. Well, let me see. I need oh. solutions from Nargafe and Falk, and where are their solutions? Sent separately. Okay. Answers to test one. That's puzzle eight. He gives as winning. Puzzle eight has no answer. I think this is me, sorry. It's okay. Um, the next one is puzzle 10, king b7, correct. Knight d6, king c6 winning. Okay. Two points for that. Puzzle nine, queen d7 is not correct. Puzzle five, I don't know. Yeah, all your calculations were correct, ending in equals. You could have said there's no tactic and gotten two points on that one because your calculations look right, spot on there. Uh, number six, don't know. Number seven, knight f6, g3, knight h5, g2. Knight f4 check position is drawn. Yes, three points for that. Nine, knight F. This is puzzle seven. And he's saying knight F seven, but there's a piece on F seven. Knight F seven. Just seven, knight D five. J six, knight E six. I don't understand. I can't even remember. Okay, I can't recognize that at the moment. Let me <laughs> Let me go on. Sorry. It's okay. Which puzzle is that? Uh, puzzle seven. His answer is knight f seven, but there's a white bishop on f seven in puzzle seven. Do you know which? Maybe he, maybe he got the bishops wrong. Like trying to get right, his own maybe, bishop. Yeah. I, I think I just mixed up my notation. Okay. Got so, all I the mean, points on puzzle good. four. It's supposed to be knight. It's supposed to be knight f three. I think uh, my handwriting just sucks. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> And then no tactic on number three is correct. Five points. And on puzzle two, rook d5, check king g4, rook b5. Yes, rook d5, check king g4, rook b5. Okay, that's correct. Finishing with nine points. And now, um, and now let's check out Falks. Yeah, I did set up the first run correctly. Like I had the pawn running the wrong way, so. <laughs> okay, so the first run is wrong because of yeah. the running direction. Sorry. Wait, I thought so it... actually, I actually made a valid point. When we were I thought it was then... super easy. Like I just go knight h6 and then um, and then yeah. d5 is first. You just didn't do anything. And it's like yeah. Oh, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You got the second one right. Uh, 
number three you seem to skip. Number four is wrong. Number five. No, five no tactic. Nine, six, six. No tactic. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, that's correct. And what's six this? on the next page. It's a knight h7 check and then king e8. Okay. Uh, queen g7. Should be on the knight second knight. page. Yeah. Correct. I see that. Okay, so three points on that one. Um, but what's the one, uh, rook d8 check, king h7, queen 7 rook a8. Yeah, you fell for that trick. The rook was defended on a8. And what's the one with h5? Bishop, um, let me see. Uh, like, it, it, it looks like d4. Yeah, it's number seven. I thought h5 might work. Ah, um, h5 there, right. Gotcha. Bishop f7, knight f7. Yeah. It does not, yeah, I'm but... afraid. Number nine. Knight d7 is incorrect. And number 10, king b7 is correct. Okay. We've got all the scores. Does it come down to tie breaks on time or not? It is Blue Jay, chess numbers, and Seth and Lula are tied. So they don't need to, um, they don't need to do a timing recount. So our four uh, players uh, going on to the second test are chess numbers, Seth, Lula, and Blue Jay. All right. Velcro Dot, Narge, Falk, thank you very much. I hope you had fun with the tests. And um, I'm sorry if there are some that I haven't given you the correct answers for, but uh, we're sort of behind time on our program so we're gonna have to keep going and uh i'll try to explain all these things later or maybe your coach as well <laughs> i just wanted to con congratulate my students because they've they seem to be both getting through the first round that's right any so last words to them I, before uh before costa takes your spot just just keep up the good work it was it was awesome all right you made your coach happy and now you know the meaning of life. It's not just to play chess well, it's to make your coach happy. Thank you. This is the only thing that counts. Thanks for guys. Now, the four of you may leave uh, audio and I will send you the test. Anybody uh, who didn't make it into this next round, I will still send you the test so you can look at it for fun. Well, here we're just having them stay longer and do the best they can. Um, what did you think of the students' performance? I know the grading was kind of like sloppy and hard for you to watch, but you saw their scores. What What did you think? Yeah. Um, well, so, I mean, Blue Jay seemed, did you get everything right? He got like a ton of points. What was the total score possible? Um, the total score, I haven't even calculated. There were some exclams down the road that he didn't get. But that final problem has like a lot of wrinkles to it. It's a, it's a study from John Nunn's book. And if he got it right, he would have actually had his score reduced to zero. That was the cheat detection question. Like if he saw how that study ended, um, then yeah, he would have been, <laughs> he would have been out. <laughs> no, no one, no one got that one fully right. Right. Nobody got, nobody got eliminated for cheating, uh, you know. So he he basically got close to 100%. Every single question he got right, it was just a question of did he get every single extra variation. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, very impressive. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a little bit surprising. Um, yeah, unfortunately, Falk didn't do too well. He He told me he got the first one mixed up, like he didn't know which way the pawn was going. I think definitely... I could have been avoided. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't. I didn't catch the rest of his um, answers, so I couldn't uh, quite judge for myself how he did. Right. Yeah, I would. I would say he definitely. If you want me to fill fill you in, I would say that he uh, struggled. But. Um... Yeah, yeah, he definitely wasn't wasn't happy about it. I think he knew <laughs> before the grading, but uh, yeah. that's okay. We'll we'll go through them. 
Um, I guess I made it too hard. You know, at first when I graded, um, you know, Lula and she had 10 points and AKA Blue Jay and he had 34, I think. It probably felt like, oh man, 10's not enough. You're going to need to score in like the 20s. Um, And I was expecting some scores, the scores to be around 20. I didn't expect 34 and I didn't expect so many scores under 10. So. Yeah. Um, Well, it's tough. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Chess is really, really tough. Um, you know, if I'd I only given the same for everyone, so it's good. If I only gave them the problems with solutions, and they knew there were solutions, and there wasn't the element of like, do some of these not have solutions? Those scores would have been much higher. A lot of people got tripped up giving solutions to the ones without solutions and losing two points at a time there, and that's mm-hmm. the element they're probably like completely not used to, since they mostly probably train with. Um, puzzles that always have answers yeah yeah um right maybe it would have been a good idea to test uh the test on a similarly rated player to see what Mm -hmm. how they did yeah i know that's what all like the uh the professional reality shows do they just have like fake contestants go through the challenges to see if Mm -hmm. it's like reasonable and stuff yeah i guess i i would need a handful for it to be meaningful because like there was such variance if i just picked falk or if i just picked like blue jay it would have really like confused things i i would have like completely made it harder right if i just happened to pick blue jay right and i would have like completely (laughs) axed it if i just picked falk but i'm sure there's many people who would love to uh to do a, a, a tactics test so it wouldn't have been hard to find a handful yeah yeah, some balance. Yeah. Um, but uh, well, there's always there's always issues with every format, as we know. <laughs> yeah, no perfect format out there for anything. It seems. So here's some info on the competition that that we're watching. Maybe I should have had this ready in a slideshow at the top of the hour, but I was busy going over rules with the players. But uh, we are currently on December 4th, special event number one, which is the Blitz, uh, which is the Tactics Challenge. Special event number two, uh, two weeks from today, will be an Endgame Challenge, uh, which I've already devised, although I'll, I'll think about it some more. No, it's, it's devious and hardcore, but, but that's fine. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to dumb it down just because today was brutal, you know. And um, and January 8th will be a Blitz tournament, followed by finals on January 2nd and 23rd. Um, the money on the line here in this event, as I said, three of these players will earn money for their team. There will be 300, 200, 100 um, for these four players. And that's the case for each of the special events. So on December 18th, there will be 300, 200, 100 as well. And on January 8th, there will be 300, 200, 100 as well. Um, finally, the first place in each of the special events gets a high seed in the final tournament. And another evil wrinkle I have added. Ooh, I like being the commissioner. (laughs) Another evil wrinkle I've added is that the last place finishers on December 18th and January 8th will face an extra preliminary challenge to even get to play in the final tournament. And so that is like a huge penalty if they fail the preliminary challenge they won't even get to compete in the finals on january 22nd and 23rd and will only earn their team one point putting a lot of weight on the shoulders of their teammate oof only the finals are decisive for the final results so the team prizes that you see first place team second place team third place team fourth place team will be based only on how the players do in the finals. These special events affect seeding, are good training for some, not for others. Some people care about the prize money, some people don't. But two of these players will face pre-elimination right before January 22nd and 23rd finals. So yes, super evil. So what's this new thing about What's this evil thing? Once again, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to watch the vodka, yeah. Oh. 
the TLDR is your students don't want to finish in eighth place on December 18th or January 8th in the Endgame Challenge or the Blitz Tournament. Mm. This year feels harsher on the contestants. It is NT Wapo. It is. It is. They're sacrificing their emotional well being to entertain you all. So Rook C7, probably Queen A8 would be the response. Number four, they might need to have a little bit of an instinct to get it right. Because the answer is there's no way to win. But it looks mm -hmm. like white might have something. It's one of those positions in a real game where you just torture yourself. Looking for a win, but it doesn't quite win. Yeah. Um, hmm. It's a variation on a puzzle I saw in a book that was wrong, that was like busted, um, where the book said that there was a win, but there isn't actually a win. I think the book might be older than computer checking, or maybe it was somebody like me who doesn't computer check. <laughs> but the intended win was queen h4 with the idea of queen f6 checkmate. Yeah. And then they were playing queen e6 for black to cover f6 and then white has the amazing winning move rook h7 check mm -hmm. now if that were the answer i would actually consider the puzzle too hard and i wouldn't have given them that that puzzle i would give them the puzzle where it's like rook h7 on the board but not where you have to play queen h4 setting it up mm-hmm but I gave it to them because I was hoping that if they couldn't find, you know, a one or two move win, they would say like, okay, there's no tactic here. It's just like an aggressive position. Uh-huh. So that was my hope. And uh, queen h4, knight d5 stops queen f6. And that, that defends successfully. So knight d5, that's the... That's the defense to queen h4. How about Matt's um, idea of queen f3? Yeah, queen f3 is a very, very good move. As soon as you said that, I'm like, huh. <laughs> that must be Matt Kolozowski's not gone to bed yet in Poland. Because um, that's a very strong move to look at. Queen f3, I think, is the best move. And then black should play queen c6 to stop queen f6. You're saying rook f8... Just takes yeah it just takes because your Sad. queen's pinned uh queen c6 yeah i didn't see that so queen a rook b7 is a very nice um kind of plug but queen c6 doesn't let white get out of the pin yeah if this was a real game and you did play queen f3 chess latte you'd be right but if this were a tactics challenge and you said queen f3 is the winning move you'd be wrong it is the best move Right? You want your queen it's on the light squares, queen. you cover your king, you go to the open file, it's the best move. And white actually has miraculously an edge in a two pawn down endgame. After queen f3, queen c6, knight to g4, x clam. Another move that only Matt Kolozowski is going to give to us. <laughs> and knight g4, x clam, threatening knight f6 with the famous little checkmate in the endgame. And black has to really scramble to save this one. They have to trade queens on f3. King takes f3. Knight d5. Again, stopping a piece from coming to f6. King e4. And h5 is, again, the only move to stop the checkmate. Cool. So that's another cheat detection. Someone's like, yeah, I was thinking queen f3 takes d <laughs> And then <G4>. after, <laughs> after king takes d5, h takes g4, e6. White has an edge in the endgame down two pawns. Because their king's on d5 and it's a monster. But Kosti and Matt are probably the only two people picturing that position at this point. <laughs> so, so much less finding the moves. So anyway, the point is like, you know, queen f3, queen f4, queen h4, bishop e7. These moves look promising. But if you don't see that they win in like two moves, you should accept like there's not a win here and like go on. Uh -huh. It's a tough yeah, thing I mean, to do in a game, right? I mean, sometimes you basically hang yourself on your flag if this happens in a game. Well, it's a different, yeah, it's a different test because it's like, um, yeah, of course, like you guys mentioned, I think in the first segment in a game, you still have to make a move. And there are many positions where you're not better and you still have to find the best chance. 
for the best try. And that's yeah. a skill in and of itself. Yeah. Okay, number five. You want to try and explain number five to us while the while the uh, contestants do their last minute. Um, you know, I haven't spent too much time in number five, but just looking at it right now, it does look like um, queen a one, queen a four, bishop takes e four. Looks pretty good. Oh, sorry, queen say that again. One check, queen a one check, king c two, queen a four check, mm -hmm. and then either the king moves and we take on e four. Yep. Or like b3, queen a2 looks really, really bad for white. Um, that one definitely feels very doable. Yeah. Yeah, so that one should be like a little bit easier than some of the totally evil ones, right? I mean, you check twice, you take on e4. That one looks very doable, yeah. The difficulty there is they might not think like a pawn is a big enough deal, right? But, you know, you've got a very good position after you take on e4. <laughs> like, very good. Yeah. Oh, so time's running out. Time's Ten running seconds. out. I've just received. I thought time had run out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to say that I don't think that I scored any on this one, to be honest. Okay. Um, Was that one supposed to be much, much harder? I found that one extremely hard. That one was harder, yeah. I think oh, it may have been... <laughs> I'm not expecting points here. Well, it God. might have been a little harder than it was supposed to be, but it was harder than the first one, and the first one already was hard. Um, I took a few gambles and left a whole lot unanswered. <laughs> Yeah. I said no tactic for like so many because I just couldn't find anything. I think I'm going to lose. I think I'll probably get minus points for that. But If there is a tactic, you can get minus points for guessing no tactic. Yeah. yeah. But there are I some know, that have no tactics. I, so. find... I know. I just couldn't find the tactics. Yeah. And that's different from there being no tactics. Yeah. But sometimes <laughs> that's a really good instinct to have to be like, to uh... be like, I'm not going to find a tactic or there isn't a tactic and, and move on with your... Yeah. with your with your life um i often lose on time because i'm looking at a position looking for a tactic when there isn't one so. yeah all right i also i, d I didn't want to let you guys make me second guess myself and i didn't want to i didn't like i didn't want to be like oh i just can't find it instead i've gone for the maybe like too like headstrong but like nah there's nothing here yeah great <laughs> i want to i want to back myself okay <laughs> My, but I my, really didn't. I, I think I've missed a lot. My yeah. worry right now, I know you guys are worrying how many points you got and how much money you got and all that, but my worry is that hopefully none of you hate me for this having been maybe a little harder than it was supposed to be. Oh, that was so hard. We'll just rant to our own senseis after this, David. <laughs> What's There's that? Some chance I didn't get anything right. Okay. Like, that's oh, hard don't worry. Us. I don't think I got anything right either. <laughs> but I gave answers, so if I got nothing right, that's bad. Our only tactic. Our yeah. Tactic. <laughs> Kostya, who's very polite, as you all know by now, uh, told me that at least it was good training for all of you. But maybe, maybe some of you hate me. We'll see. It's good training for me. I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's what I'm concerned about. <laughs> all right. So, raw score. The first to turn in the answers in my email was Lula. Um, oh no! <laughs> and we are going to uh, look okay. at the puzzles here. Um, it's going to make everyone else feel better about their answers, which is the main <laughs> thing. Right. So, um, my other thing over here: tactics challenge number one. Uh, Lula says no <laughs> tactic. <laughs> there is one. There is one winning move for White yeah. in that position. It is. Yeah. The retreating move, knight to d1. What? <sighs> wow. <laughs> wow. I have wow. minus two. <laughs> and should I put I'm minus okay. two I'm for honest. everybody? I'm okay with Probably. that. Probably. I tried okay. 94. Knight. knight d1. Explain. Uh, in order to, on the next move, play knight e3. And then the rook on f5 can't keep the bishop on d5 defended. Whoa. Oh. But that's brutal. <laughs> he won. But what about... It can't, like, move its king or something? I can't believe that works. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's... 
There are no variations, actually. It's just knight d1, knight e3, and... Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, as Adam says, that was the easy one. No, no that was definitely not yeah, the easy one. <laughs> that does make sense now, but, no. like, nah. That's one that's seared in my mind as basically the most difficult puzzle ever without like any variations right it's not like six moves of calculation or anything like way ahead to visualize there's almost no pieces on the board to confuse you and yet it's like hard to find uh anyway you're all tied for first place right now tied for first <laughs> Second I'm wondering if I puzzle. would have could have won this round by just turning an I don't know on all twelve, <laughs> and gotten a zero. Yeah, just made sure not to get minus. a negative score. Yeah, uh, that's a good tactic in <laughs> itself. Yeah, Matt thought that the training he gave you was difficult, which I think I, is his way of saying I I overdid it on this test. Oh man! <laughs> all right, number two, you gave Bishop takes e eight. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think I got any of these, honestly. Yeah. No. It was also hard. Yeah. My apologies. Uh, <laughs> What's the right answer? The correct answer was to take on G6 with your knight. Ah! Before... Oh, I thought about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you've got those two forked um, pieces, and the problem with your mm -hmm. bishop takes rook move is that mm -hmm. black can capture it with the queen leaving the two pieces still attacked and the queen mm, on e8 true, starts yeah. to defend her king side so yeah, you yeah, want to take yeah. on g6 with the knight first leaving open the option of taking the rook in some lines um and uh yeah i i was trying to make that work too <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I couldn't figure out the whole yeah. line. I never made one of the lines work, but I guessed it anyway. So <laughs> it was it was the most <laughs> like I said, gambles. It was the most tactical move on there. Yeah. Mm. Your answer on puzzle five is the second best thing: winning a pawn. <laughs> um, there's a. <laughs> There's there's a slightly better pawn to win, which is the one on e4 opening up the g6 bishop. If you oh man, if you're I still looking at puzzle board. four, if you guys can can look up the diagrams, black can play queen a1 check, king c2, queen a4 check, and then play bishop takes e4, and so it it wins a pawn, but it also ruins white's um white's king. Uh, can like... I make a point? Yes. Sorry, it might not be yes. a good point. I have a yeah. Fide Master in my chat, and he's on zero out of three so far. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, he can be a student on the next episode of uh, on the next season instead of a teacher in that case. <laughs> <laughs> Traditionally, Fide Masters would take the role of teacher on this show. Mm -hmm. All right. I can't believe I won the wrong pawn. Yeah. Feels bad, man. It's nice. number five, right? Yeah. Okay. Seven <laughs> percent. You got number seven correct. What did I Queen put? a wait, eight wait, check, what? king d seven, knight e five check, king e eight. That's correct. Ooh. I think I'm still in the negatives. Y yeah, but let's not yeah, focus yeah. on the negatives. <laughs> 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 All right. Puzzle 8, I don't know, was a good so solution. You got no points off on that one. Yes. Puzzle 10, no answer is correct as well. Very good. Yes. Very good. Okay. Good spot to say no tactic instead of I don't know. Very good. Mm. All right. Yeah. Puzzle 11... The first move is something insane. Just something else. Okay. All right, who wants their test scored next? Oh boy. Wait, what? Okay, what's mine? What's the Final mine score is five? 10, just like on the first test. It would make sense to go. <laughs> I'm in the positives. Nice. The positives. <laughs> I'm in 
it would make fan. sense to go reverse order of scores from the first round. Yeah, I was thinking. Did, yeah, did just, you get mine? I'd probably just go in order of the emails I got. All right. Let's go, Lula. Number two. I think White has a forced checkmate here. Whoa. It's heavy. Knight takes g6 is correct. Hg6, queen g6, king h8, bishop c2. F5, queen h6, king g8, queen e6. Wow. That's a crazy variation, man. Very, very long, Blue Jay. That took like 15 minutes itself. <laughs> to <think> about. <laughs> and game over with mate. All right. You'll be the first person to, for one moment, have a positive score on this test before you get the next one wrong. Let's see. Number three. No answer. Number three, there is an answer. Knight d3 threatens to checkmate, runs into queen d4. Yeah. Um, you guys, the answer to number three is e5. It's taking away the queen d4 move from white. You play e5 to stop queen d4, and then you can go for knight d3 later. Um. Should have tried to gamble on one That's move crazy. with uh, no variation. I didn't think that I could, had time to play a slow move. <sighs> All right, puzzle four. You guessed no answer, which was correct. Actually, can we get the puzzles up on the the stream, David? Over over the also, sure. Yeah, I also don't even see them. <laughs> We'll make the puzzles big here. Um, oh, yeah. oh, actually, I'll make them medium big so we can still see the scoring. Okay, so puzzle four was the one with no answer. Uh, that was correct. Number five, I think white is winning, but you're playing black. Queen a1 check, king there, queen check, king there, bishop takes e4. Correct. 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 Queen runs away safe. So I'm not sure what you meant about white being winning, but uh, you're being judged on your variation, which is I correct. Meant black, yeah. I meant black. Oh, you meant black is black. winning. Okay, you were correct That's, then. I, Very yeah, correct. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'll check out the colors out there. <laughs> good job on that one. You've got queen a1 check correct. You've got queen a4 check correct. Bishop takes e4. And you found bishop e3 for white which was the best defense there and well, then was, was bishop takes e4 correct bishop takes e4 was correct as well yeah absolutely okay so you actually got five points on that one i think one two one two bishop three takes... five yeah puzzle six no answer that is correct so puzzle six on um, has an almost brilliant tactic for black. Super, super brilliant tactic of knight g3 check. Well, black's a little bit behind, right? First of all, just a little bit behind in the position. And it looks like they can save themselves with knight g3 check, pawn takes g3, queen h3 check, king g1, bishop d4 check, and then when white blocks, queen g2 checkmate. Um, but there's a rook on a2 that defends that checkmate at the end. Um... If white blocks on e3 with the bishop, trades bishops, the rook on a2 stops the checkmate at the end. So the answer on that one is no uh, no tactic. Oh, that would have been so nice. Oh, The funny thing about get... that is that I, um, I calculated uh, that the rook blocked, but then I also noticed that black is behind. We're mm -hmm. black in that one, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we're behind. So I was like, well, if there's no tactic, we're just losing. So he wouldn't. And so I sort of played a bit of a mind game and just said, there has to be a tactic. If it's just no tactic, Black just loses. And so I so I went for it and put that down. All right. Blue Do Jay. I get any points for seeing the entire flawed line and ending with, oh, no, Rook A2 covers G2, even though I answered, I don't know? <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> I saw everything about that line, including what was wrong with it, and didn't give it as an answer, but included it in my answer. With, with... 
Blue Jay gets uh, points on number seven here for correctly calculating the entire Queen A8 check, King D7, Knight E5 variation. King E8, Queen takes Rook, King takes Rook, Knight C6, picking up the Queen on B4. Wow. All right, on puzzle eight, the last one on this page, he says white wins a rook, so maybe white is winning. Bishop g5 check is correct. Hg rookie one check, king d8 forced. Queen takes g8, king c7, queen takes a8. Yes, you've won a rook and you're threatening mate. How many x lambs did he score here? One. Um, was, that, was that right? Yes. Queen, 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 two, three. two, three. Another <sighs> five points. Kostya, you said you were scared of Blue Jay. Are you still scared of Blue Jay? Dude, super impressive. I'm scared <laughs> of Blue Jay. <laughs> Everyone raised <their> hand. <laughs> Whoa. Puzzle number nine. We're going to go to the second page here of the test. <clears throat> Everybody, please turn to the second page. White wins the queen, so white is winning. Bishop h6, queen h6, knight f5. And queen g6, knight e7, collecting all the points there. There's an exclam on bishop h6. There's another one on knight e7, which was seen. Wow. Number 10. I don't know. I'm out of time, but I'm going to guess no answer. Correct. Good guess. <laughs> was that right? Oh, my God. <laughs> There's no answer. You calculated 95, and usually the bishop takes e7, but queen d5 threatens the rook. That's exactly the tactic that doesn't work. Uh -uh. Puzzle 11. I think there's a mate. One queen g8 with a surprise discovery of queen d4, king e7, king d8. That is correct. I've seen that puzzle before in my defense. <laughs> well... Good on you for seeing it before. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> Striking fear into the hearts of everybody. Puzzle 12. I don't know. I have no time here. You feel like there's a tactic, but you have no time. So is your answer that, that Queenie 2 wins, or is your answer that it's, you're not answering it? No, there's no answer to it. I just That's the first thing I just saw. But like, you're you're saw just giving else. me what you were thinking about. Yeah, it's a positional. That's what I thought, but I have no idea. Yeah. Queenie two positional. Okay. So I'll give you zero points on that question. Uh, and you are at 27. And now we are going to grade the paper of ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Was there an answer for, for puzzle 12? There is, yes. Yes, there is. All right. So, ugh, ugh, ugh. On the first one gives That's 94 me. check. That's wrong. On puzzle two, correct. Knight takes g6. And ugh, ugh, ugh. Gets rid of the negative score. Number three, rook to b7. We can bring the test back up maybe if we want. Rook b7. It's a good looking move, but after queen d4 check, um, it does not. Oh, right. Queen d4 is check. That bring you any I... happiness. That's the big problem in that, yeah. in that puzzle is to see that white has one resource, queen d4. Okay, number four, you don't know. The answer was there was no answer. Um, number five, queen a1 check, correct. Queen a4 check, correct. Bishop takes e4. Correct. Nice. Bravo. Very good answer there. Number six, I don't know. And you give the whole variation, exactly the variation you need to get. You just need to say there's no tactic based on that. I'm going to give you a point anyway because it's so impressive. And obviously, the rules in this uh, outfit are a bit loose anyway. What am I? I'm expecting some complaints. Um, 
but that was really impressive. Now, queen a8 check, king d7. If queen b8, knight b6, getting the extra point for seeing the queen b8, knight b6 check variation. Woo! And king d7, knight e5, king e8, queen d8, king d6, queen c6. Wow, racking up points on that one there. That's an exclam. 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 Seven points. Whoa. Feeling good, Kostya? What? Are you feeling good? <laughs> I'm fine. Was there a question to me? No, no. I'm just just curious how you're how you're feeling as as we see some points coming in for one of the for one of the players getting some answers correct. I literally have no horse in this race. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, 18, bishop g5, check, correct. Rookie one, check. Rookie six, correct. That's another point. Two extra points on that one. Four points. Whoa, chess numbers. Ugh, ugh, ugh. This is not bad at all. And you got bishop h6 and knight e5 and knight e7 to round it off at 19. That's amazing. Oh. Well done, teammate. That's amazing. And you did a really good job of not randomly answering four or five of them that you didn't know. I think, as well. Okay. Another one to grade. Seth sent me a photo album on Google. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Seth. This is great. Um, so, number... Three, knight d3, queen d4, queen d4, cd4. Oh, yeah, knight d3, queen d4, queen d4, cd4, you'd win, but there's knight d4. Knight d4. Yeah. No. Can I just use arrows to go through it? Oh, I can. It's beautiful. Queen a1, queen a4, bishop e4, queen a1, bravo. Good work. Okay, number six. You've got the whole variation up to where the rook takes your queen. <laughs> yeah. Queen a8, king b7, knight e5. Good. Queen a8, queen b8, knight b6! Bravo. Number eight, I don't know. Good guess. Number nine, uh, also don't know. I just forgot to write that. Okay. Just I was just out of time. Number on 10, all these knight ones. takes e5, bishop e7, knight e7, or knight e5, e5. Right. How about Angel Right. And number 11, queen h2 check. No. Yeah. I thought it would be worth a shot, but it was not worth a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I thought number 10, I thought it was like, oh, he threw us an easy one. Thank you. <laughs> right. Yeah. <Terrible. laughs> I even yeah. mentioned, you know, he could take with the pawn or the queen, and then you take their bishop. And then does like, oh, wait. Now that you mention it. Yeah. Whoo. Yikes. All right. So it was tough. It was exciting. Um... Blue Jay and Chess numbers, uh, you qualify for the finals. Um, but I would like to propose an offer to you that we do the finals at another mutually convenient time for the two of you. Would that be all right since we've already hit 4 p.m.? Yeah. Yes, please. Good. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah? I've all right. a baby needs to go to bed soon. <laughs> so we'll definitely pick a time that, that works for the two of you to do that. And um, we'll have that duel. We'll try to get Andras on for that for that one. Um, congratulations to all four of you on making it to the second round and putting up a great fight. Um, Seth, I believe you are the first person to uh, earn some cash for your team here with a third place finish uh, in the Tactics Challenge. Wait. So, uh, bravo. 
And um, yeah, anybody uh, want to share with us how they're uh, feeling after this test? Intense mm -hmm. nausea. Feeling better after it yeah. was scored than I was really while I was taking nausea. Relieved there's no more. <laughs> Relieved it's Relieved. over. You don't want to do the next round. Yeah. I can't believe that there is a next round. I didn't even realize that. Oh my God. <laughs> if there was about to be a next round, I would be like, I would be feeling good that I was not in it. I right. Think, rather than getting one, of the, I would feel bad for the top two. Yes. Strategic third place so that you don't have to do more of this. If you, if you check out the VODs, um, you will see that I hypothesized that you guys might be regretting your good scores in the first round <laughs> when I was watching you do the second round. Um, so I think what might be cool to do to round out the show is I'll show the answers to a couple of the tactics from the second test that we didn't get around to yet. And um, contestants, you are welcome to uh, stick around to listen to that or to go on about your days. I know Ty has kids um but i think um i can probably take a few more minutes to go over a couple answers real quick let's see here okay here is um question number 12. coast did you recognize question number 12. it's a mikhail tall game this one um don't feel like i do I feel like the only way... Oh, sorry, this is question 11. Um, or 11 or 12? 12, 12? No, this is 12. 11 12, was the, yeah. the study. Yeah. So um, I think more or less the only way anyone would have gotten this would have been seeing Tal's game. Um, hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, the answer is... <laughs> That this bishop, you can um, pin it to a back rank tactic if you double your queen on the e file. Queen e2, a million exclams. This was the cheat detection question on this test, NT Wapo, yes. Each test had one question on it, which if the contestant got it correctly, they would have been disqualified for cheating. <laughs> and that was this one. Um, queen e2, and uh, the concept is that on bishop c3, you trade, weakening the back rank, and then bishop g5. Tal found this. He wasn't cheating. And um, Blue Jay guessed that queen e2 might be the right positional move, didn't realize that it was actually a winning tactic. And didn't make a guess on this one. Went with, you know, zero point, not trying to answer. But what instincts to have looked at Queenie 2. Um, yeah. And this is one position which is winning for white. Although still you would have to calculate for a minute to, to realize that's true. And then this other possibility for black is they go queen c3. And now you work on this bishop as if it's pinned to back rank mate with bishop c1. Because if black takes on c1, rook b8, rook b8, queen e8. Wow. Yeah. This is just for, for amusement. Nobody was supposed to find this thing. Yeah, I mean, it's you were supposed to not find this. So, <laughs> um, so that's one of the uh, difficult, uh, <laughs> one of the two impossible ones. Um. Andras recognizes it. Andras knows this position. All right. Oh. Um, let's see. Another one I could bring up here is this um, endgame study, or it's a segment of an endgame study. Hey, Andras, how's it going? All right, good. Thank you. Uh, I just completed my application for uh, for um, the uh, 2022 um, ultimate sensei as a student, but I'm polishing up my CV because I don't think I will pass. <laughs> so, uh, you're on team David made the test too hard, huh? Uh, look, um, <laughs> I, I do not want to make you feel bad because I think you may have received a little bit uh, too much grief already in that department. I'm just saying that, uh, I'm not sure if I will pass the student test for 2022. So time to shape up for 
Mr. International Master. <laughs> I mean, look, take it as a compliment. You made it. You made it so that it was definitely decisive in the sense that it was easy to pick winners and you know pick a ranking. Yeah. If everyone solves everything, you know, you might have to throw in an extra few puzzles uh, to decide who is who. Right. You definitely didn't have to worry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are you handing out GM norms, by the way, for this, or Fide hasn't approved? The, if you the score norm? over 30 points like Jay, you can get a GM norm, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, now, oh, this is a famous one. I know this. You know the tall game. No, I already know the one that is on the screen. It's oh, this one too. Yeah, uh, it's in, um, in uh, Secrets of Spectacular Chess. Okay. And I think it's yeah. zigzag, like you need to go on the back rank and then go back to where you started off. I don't remember the exact solution. I think it's some check check and then eventually go back to queen e8 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Jay got it. You start with queen to g8. Queen g8, right. You have to stay on the 8th rank so the opponent can never start checking you. Because if you come off the 8th rank, they can check you. So you always need yeah, the discovered yeah, yeah. checkmate, right? Yeah, I remember now. You walk to e8, then e5 check, and then back to h8, and they can't go queen a1 because you take the check. And now that's... they can't go to a1. Exactly. Yeah, right. that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I briefly this, remembered. This one here is extremely difficult to figure out, but um, I gave it to them partway through with the idea that at this point, there's only so many moves to calculate, right? There's queen takes queen, you see it's a draw, and then you're left with queen on the eighth rank or queen h2. So I thought there's mm. like a chance that people get one or two moves right, and it's a place where you can differentiate. Someone gets the first move right, but someone else gets two moves or someone else gets zero. So I wasn't expecting full solutions on a lot of, on, 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 on a lot of these questions, I wasn't expecting full solutions. So there's already two points if they just get the first move right. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, so it's that's... an easy way to cut back on the marking, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and probably fatigue played a role too. What what do you think, Seth? Like, Do you think like you were more fatigued during the second test than the first one? Yeah, yeah, I think about midway through the second one like oh i also didn't realize it had 12 questions mm -hmm. i think with about um 15 minutes left maybe like 10 or 15 minutes left i opened the second one thinking there were only two more right i was like oh man there's four more so yeah. um and i still had some to come back to. but yeah i was yeah. definitely feeling it yeah um it was almost like i was i was looking more at the clock i feel like in round two mm -hmm. you know i'm trying to keep like my energy up but i was also like you know like oh 30 more minutes of this <laughs> on round one had you come down to like having no time left or had you been double checking like everybody sent them in no. sort of after one hour like no 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 i i um you know this is it, it's it, it brings back uh horrible memories of uh of high school <laughs> taking the act and stuff yeah. because i was i've always been a bad time test taker i've always been like very slow and mm -hmm. like always scrambling to the last second trying to uh trying to um uh finish and so i did not i there were ones i kind of wanted to come back to and in fact um yeah some of the ones that had no solution i wanted to in like round one i think i would have come back and just put no solution um, but mm -hmm. like I was like, oh, I better take a picture. I don't want to like get disqualified because I send it in too late or something. Right. So, um, so I was like, uh, I was like, better safe to go with I don't know. And then there was a part of me I was also thinking like the strategies. Like if I can't find it, and I think in round one, I should have stuck to my guns a little bit more. It's like if I can't find it, I'm better off betting on myself, saying there's no solution, thinking I'll get more than fifty fifty of those. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. right, because it's like you get two points if there is no solution. You lose two points if there is a solution and you say no solution. Yeah, so you just so have to be better some, than 50-50. Yeah. yeah, and I thought I would. I'm like, I should be better than 50-50 on ones I don't know. But because I was on a scramble at the end, I, so my plan was not to put I don't know for any of them, mm -hmm. at least in the first one. The second one, yeah. I don't think there was better than 50-50 necessarily. So, yeah. Yeah. What do you reckon, David? Should I start looking at um, Pervakov studies for 24-7 now with my students for the endgame <laughs> challenge? Or 
Where, where do we take it from here? Uh, I think I I think I'm gonna try and tone things back a little bit from here. Yeah, yeah. I'll se I'll send out a sumi my sen sumi my sen email, um, and uh, take responsibility for the pain I've caused. Oh look, uh, I don't want to give you grief. I don't think you caused any pain. It's just uh, I, I think we confirmed the concept of chess is hard, and there is nothing wrong there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, one of the cool things about Chess is Hard is some of the puzzles I gave are only two moves long, and yet they're difficult. Actually, can you show me that, uh, because I heard you, but I didn't watch when uh, you talked yeah. to Kostya about the one from Kaprin Dashvili that you considered to be the, the hardest straight liner, like right. the one that doesn't have sidelines and two moves. I want to have a look at that. Sure. Um, actually, there's a cool story to that uh, book, by the way, on my end. Well, not really, because I used to own that book and I lent it to someone and it mm. hasn't made its way back. And uh, that upsets me a little bit because that book is a marvelous uh, collection. My only problem with that book, if that is valid at all, I don't know, is that it's a fairly old one as far as I understand. And I don't know how many of those were found unsound. Do you have any right. input to that? I don't know how many of them are or are not unsound. Uh, this one is sound, <laughs> and that's about what I what I know. Are you just uh, setting it up now? I thought you had it ready. Sorry, yeah, I didn't mean to. That's no problem. There's not a lot of pieces you. on the board. This looks very familiar. Okay, here it is. White to play. I've seen this somewhere. Actually, funnily enough, in the Gaplin Dutch really Probably in the book. <laughs> that's that's where I would have seen this. That is where you would have seen it, yeah. So how do we make it some Zugi or Rook Trap? Hmm. G4, Knight, E2. The idea of Knight, G3, Knight, E4, check. Is that something? So G4 takes knight e2, king e6, knight g3, rook f6, knight e4 then doesn't work. Huh. Oh wait. So G4 region knight e4, king e6. Is this gonna make you feel better, Seth? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. I was just like, nah, there's nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> that rook is begging, begging to be trapped. Yeah. But so hang on, what do you, what do you do after ninety four checking e six nine g three? Because rook f six nine h five wins a pawn, but that's yep. apparently not enough. That wins a pawn, but it's not enough after rook g six. The position's not easy for white. Right. Nine there, nine there, nine there. Yeah. Wow, what a puzzle, man. Yeah. What a devilish piece of work it is. Yeah, and when I tell you the solution, like you'll be like, there were only two pieces on the board, right? And the solution is literally two moves long. Okay, tell me, I don't want to waste your time. Yeah, it's uh, knight d1. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, apologies, that was um, fork. That's yeah. what I said. I know, oh, it's a fork, a fork coming on E3. Yeah. yeah. How pathetically simple is that? It's crazy, right? Th this position can just like, can leave professional chess players just like scratching their heads. So my, my question was like, what if like just like King C6 or something? Yeah, then Knight E3 and the Rook's attacked. and Yeah, the Rook is oh, the rook's attacked. Attacked. on the fifth. Yeah. Right, right. So then you're attacking the... Yeah. Fish up twice. Yeah. Yeah. All right, folks. That's that's, that's cheating, David. That's, that's, I was meant to solve this. Yeah. You jinxed you jinxed the whole thing. Yeah. Well, my apologies to everybody, uh, except the fans who probably got to just enjoy it. You know, they're probably oh, laughing. Man. To... <laughs> I, I think just for the fans, it was a jolly good ride. <laughs> yeah. I've I'm made fully... Ultimate Sensei a little bit more intense no. this year, but that's uh, that's good for the spectators. It's pain Look, for all I, of us. I think, David, in the end of the day, you always have that uh, escape route of saying, 
there is a reason why it's called the ultimate. <laughs> like th this is this is not for the children, guys. We're yeah. sorry, yeah. but if you want to become the ultimate sensei or the ultimate padawan, uh, you need to show your skills. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I'll say this was just like if you think of it, if you reframe it, this was just like a really good training session, I think. Yeah, that's how Costa really sees it. Calculation. That's how Costa sees it. Costa yeah, was like, "Hey, at least it'll be a good there. training session for my yeah. <laughs> for my students." Yep. All right. Cheers, everybody. Good night. Good morning. Uh, we'll see you soon. Be sure to uh, follow Andras and the other uh, coaches oh, you. so you can thank see you. their lessons. So there are the links to all the uh, twitches of all the teachers and some of the students and contestants on this show. Thank you, everybody, for being here with us. Let us know what you think about our show. Uh, feel free to hit us up with any comments, etc. And have a great day. Thank you, David. Take care, man.